All right, new week, new run. It's Friday. Let me explain. Let me explain. Got home from my Texas run Monday, midday, early afternoon. Um, so obviously that day was toast. I couldn't do anything with it. Um, got up Tuesday, started searching load boards, looking for what I like to call an anchor. Uh, anchor is a, a good shapement that pays 75% of the run. And then you can find a little smaller one to go with it, something that's 10 feet or less, that's, you know, weight appropriate for the trailer and what you got to begin with. Uh, and by the time you add both of those together, it's not bad. Not optimal, but not bad. Um, couldn't find anything on, on Tuesday. Uh, so we get to Wednesday. Uh, and hopefully Wednesday is the day, because that's when the Tinker Freight comes out. Um, neither one of my brokers landed anything coming out of Tinker on Wednesday, if they had anything. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have anything. So never heard from the broker, so searched the load board again on Wednesday. Couldn't find anything. Um, nothing nothing worth taking. And I don't, I don't want to run for a dollar a mile. I really don't. Uh, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather sit at the house a couple extra days and find something good than to run for a dollar a mile and miss a good run coming out of Tinker at some point. And that's what happened this time. Because I didn't take a shorter run that pays less money, um, broker called Thursday morning. There's two brokers I work with. Um, both of them actually called. Uh, they are both looking at two different runs, trying to get them. Uh, called me and see if I was interested, if I wanted to take them. And I said, of course I do. I surely do. And there was two different runs. One was uh, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida. And by Florida, I mean south of Miami, at the tip of Florida, uh, you can spin and hit the keys. That's how far south it is. It's way down there. Um, and then the other one was the one I'm on now that I took. So uh, the, the Florida run was the preferential run that I wanted. It wasn't as long. It didn't pay as much money. Then I got to thinking end of month is coming. I, it's still first week of June, but... <laughs> the end of month will end of month will creep up on you if you're not careful. And the end of week four is my big week for bills. That's when a lot of my bills come out all in the same week. So I got to thinking, let's take the longer run that pays more. Um, it's still first week, uh, and then I, I not necessarily set back on my heels for the rest of the month, but um, it makes my life a little less stressful if I've got a good solid store start towards week four um, so ultimately I decided to take this west coast run this one is one pick four drops coming out of Tinker so we'll pick up today Friday and that's the difference between usually what happens on Wednesday versus today usually I pick on Wednesday get out of Tinker noonish or so uh, and then I'm hustling towards San Diego it's it's like 20 hour drive from Tinker to San Diego so it's two long days. Um, the thing is that military receiving closes early on Friday, so if you don't get there by noon, most of the time you're out. So pick up on Wednesday, hustle to try and get to San Diego before noon or so on Friday. Never happens. You can't make it. You, you just you try and you can't make it. So you end up sitting all weekend because you can't deliver till Monday. This run is different. Since I'm loading on Friday, not Wednesday, now I've got half a day today, plus Saturday and Sunday, to make it to San Diego to unload. So I'm not sitting for 48 hours at a truck stop waiting for Monday morning. Um, so this one's a little a little different. Um, and because I'm not sitting, I can do the run faster. I'm not wasting two days along the, along the route sitting somewhere. Uh, I can get in, get out, surgical precision, uh, and get back home. Uh, even though it's a it's a longer run than usual on this on this West Coast run, uh, I'll still get home faster than I would leaving on a Wednesday. So it works for me. This one's one pick, four drops. Uh, we'll pick in Tinker, like usual, uh, and we'll leave Tinker and go to San Diego DLA. We'll deliver that one Monday morning first thing, uh, and then I've got fresh clock Monday morning because I'm I'm there. Uh, we're running up to Travis. Travis is about eight and a half hours away. So I should make Travis Monday night, deliver Tuesday morning first thing, 
then I've got a fresh 11 hour clock again on Tuesday to run up. So third stop is in Washington. It's about an hour and 20 minutes north of Seattle. It's 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 Canada. It, across the bay is Canada. Um, Naval Air Station Whitby, W-H-I-D-B-E-Y, Naval Air Station Whitby, uh, and then I'll run straight east out to uh, Fairchild Air Force Base. Um, so this isn't a bad run. Um, uh, not having to sit for the weekend makes a difference. It's it's a couple hundred light on the money, but I'm not going to have to sit for 48 hours at a truck stop, so um, the trade-off was definitely worth it. Um, I should be home Thursday-ish, maybe Friday next week. Uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be that long of a run. Um, then I'll take a, a long weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and hopefully load up uh, Wednesday of, uh, not Wednesday in a couple days, but Wednesday a week from today. So I'll take a long, a long weekend between this run and the next load. So it works for me, and I got to figure out Fourth of July. Fourth of July weekend's coming at some point. I got to figure out how I'm going to schedule and work around that because I do want to be home for Fourth of July weekend. Uh, if I can swing it, if I can do some extra work between here and there, I might see if I can just take the whole week off. But uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, got some other stuff going. I might be able to might be able to swing that anyways. Uh, so we'll see. But yeah, that's where we're at. One pig, four drops, headed west coast yet again. Look out, San Diego. Here we come. Talk to you later.
been a while. Let's do a subscriber update. Uh, we're currently sitting at 187 subscribers. Um, last episode last week on the Texas run I did, it seemed like I would gain two subscribers and I would lose one. Uh, and I don't know if that, that one I lose is somebody earlier that subscribed that unsubscribed or if it's somebody that subscribed and then unsubscribed immediately if they, you know, they did it on accident. But all week, um, it seemed like I would gain two, lose one. Gain two, lose one. Um, I don't know. I don't understand it. Um, sorry, I'm in traffic. I'm trying to merge. When you're 60 foot long, it's, it's a task. Um, where was that? Oh, gain two, lose one. Um, I don't know if it's the content. If you like the content, man, hit like. Um, subscribe get some notifications going uh, even if you don't want the notifications when the new videos come out hit the subscribe button that way uh, I'm easy to find when you when you want to come back and, and check out where I'm at and what I'm doing uh, check back from time to time uh, subscriptions go a long way um, I think it boosts how often you're presented in the YouTube feed uh, by your subscription count so and there's there's some algorithm in there that if it has so many dislikes versus likes on a video, it shuts the video down, doesn't show it. Uh, and it's a, there's a click-through rate, uh, you know, a percentage of people that watched versus didn't watch. Uh, there's there's several things I think that play into the algorithm, and I haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, it seems pretty pretty complex. Um, it may not be. It may be real simple. Uh, but if you guys are, are watching and you like what you see, hit like. Um, hit subscribe you don't necessarily have to get the notifications it would be good if you did that way you'd know when I put something up but uh, uh, subscriptions would be would be amazing at this point wake the kids, phone the neighbors, tell a friend uh, <laughs> somebody commented earlier last week said that the content was good and need to get me some more subscribers amen brother that's uh Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can figure out. Let's see if we can get above 200 on this run. Um, I'm seven or eight months into doing this. And maybe maybe it's just me being a crybaby, but I, I think I should be higher than 187 subscribers. Uh, I, I don't like to talk negatively about other people, but I've seen content that's not up to the standards. That I think somebody could do if they applied themselves. Um, I, I think I think my videos are edited well. Transitions, music, titles, um, stuff like that. So I mean, I I like to think I'm doing a good job. Uh, the only way that I know that I'm doing a good job is by how many subscribers and how many watches I have. Um, you know, I, like I said, I've been doing this seven or eight months. I've got over 55,000 watches, um, but only 187 subscribers. So I wonder, all those people are watching, are they are they not liking the content? Is it not what they thought it would be? Is it just something they're not interested in? I don't I don't know exactly, because I don't, I don't talk to everybody. Uh, I have no clue who's watching, who's not watching. Uh, so you guys, you guys let me know what I'm doing wrong need to do different or just just comment down below uh, let me know if it, it if it looks good to you sounds good to you uh, is it the type of music is it the same music over and over is it too much talking not enough talking too much driving not enough driving let me know um, try and figure out what I need to do um, to make you guys like the content a little better uh, and I'll try and put this commentary I'm doing towards the front of a video so maybe more than Maybe more than four people will see it. Uh, my average watch time on a, on a video that, that I do between uh, 10 and 15 minutes long on an actual video video, um, people are watching about four minutes and they're swiping away. Four minutes out of a 13 minute video, they're only watching four. The first minute, minute and a half is the intro where I'm playing music and showing a little bit of drive uh, and then me stepping in and, and saying, hey, here's what we're gonna do in this, this episode. Here's where we're at, here's where we're picking up, here's where we're going. Uh, so that takes a minute, minute and a half, and then within two minutes, 
or swipe it away. So I, I don't know. Let me know what I can do differently to make it better. Um, if you see something you like, hit subscribe. If you're just watching for the first time. Uh, if you're a subscriber and you know somebody in the industry, send them a share. Share it. Let, let people know. Let's see if we can get above 200 on this run. Uh, that's 13. That's more than I've ever added in in one week's time at, at any given time. But it's a it's a push I think is is actually doable. Uh, it's a goal that's attainable. I think we can do it. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Oh, excuse me. I just had <laughs> I just had Taco Bell for my my lunch break, and, um, and I will I will definitely pay for that later tonight. Sorry, loves. I'm gonna crack a toilet bowl later somewhere west of Albuquerque is where I'm staying I think if I can make it it's gonna be close I'm gonna tear up I'm gonna tear up the bathroom in the loves in the Albuquerque I'm gonna be you glad you're not in Albuquerque tonight um, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a party we need to charge cover at the door restroom you come in uh, user fee um, sorry I'm ranting again I get off on a tirade tirade just turn left all of a sudden. I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, anyways, we're going to keep driving west. We're going to we're gonna try and make it to uh, just on the west side of Albuquerque. Uh, call tonight and then we'll uh, we'll go into San Diego Saturday, Sunday. Uh, deliver San Diego Monday morning. So We'll check in with you guys here in a little while. See you. Driving along, um, thinking about the view time on average of four minutes. Um, the average view time of people watching my videos is four minutes. So I, I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna try something. We'll just we'll see what happens. Um, when I start doing the video for this, I'll make the regular 10 to 15 minute video like I normally do. Then I'm going to take that same content and squeeze it down into four minutes, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna see how long people watch a four-minute video. Um, <laughs> this should be interesting. Um, so it's either going to be just random little small snips instead of a 45 seconds worth of driving. Uh, it might be five or six seconds. Uh, I don't know how I'll shorten down the the talking part of it, but I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a regular, regular full length video like I usually do, part one. I don't even know what episode we're on. 22, 22, episode 22. Um, I might call this four minutes of fame. <laughs> I might, I might call this video series four minutes of fame. Episode 22, four minutes of fame. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the full length video, the 10, 10 to 15 minute variety. And I'm gonna take all that same footage and squeeze it down to a four minute video, and we'll see if people watch for one minute and swipe away, or if they watch the full four minutes. I'll uh, I'll do that. Watch the analytics, uh, see what it does. Look at the play times. Look at the click through rate. Um, we'll see what happens. It'll be an interesting experiment. Let's let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> Only subscribers that watch will know what's going on, but <laughs> we'll see. A lot of people don't watch deep enough to know what's going on in these videos. So, uh, yeah, we'll try it. A little experiment. We'll do it this weekend. See you.
on the west side of Albuquerque. Um, all three of my drive clocks. Uh, tag team today, all the same. Uh, always is coming out of Tinker. Uh, it takes a long time to get checked in, get loaded, get strapped, get tarped, get everything done. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, first days always suck, but uh, we're home for the night. Park it up, get some rest. We'll, uh, we'll get back after it tomorrow. Uh, I think from here, I'll have to check. I think it's 11 and a half hours to San Diego, uh, but I think I'm gonna go to, uh, to a pilot that's just south of San Diego. I have to check times on that and see what's going on there. But home for the night. Check in with you guys later.